Hey guys, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. I'm Jacob. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my modified Kronos. Ever since the Kronos came out, I was like, I want to put mag fed capabilities in that. Because the Kronos stock form is all well and good with the five shots, but I don't like what I have in the top load. Top loading is good, but I want to be able to change the magazine to fully reload. So basically, all I've done in this Kronos is I've taken the handle off of a broken Apollo that I shredded the gears on, and I integrated it onto the bottom and lined it up so that where the breech is fully open, the magazine will line up perfectly. So now my Kronos can take either the 12 or the 7 round magazines. They click in just fine, and as you can see there, the rival rounds feed up perfectly into the breech, and I can just close it up and fire it. As you can see, I've also done a spring addition to this chrono so that I can make it a little bit stronger, and I've cut down the hop-up on the side so that all my shots are flying straight and true. Additionally, some things I've done to this chrono is, as you can see, if you look closely enough, the slide has been extended forward because I initially had the stock slide and plunder tube set up in this thing, but then I shattered it while playing and just ripped it straight off the bat. And so what I've done instead is I've changed it to use my own homemade sort of attachment. So basically the sides have been ascended with pieces of polycarb and then those screw into the plunder tube which has had PVC epoxied onto the sides. It's a lot stronger. I can put much, much larger screws into there and there's a lot more surface area for it to grip onto and withhold all these springs that I have. And the last thing with my Kronos is rival rounds are all well and good. When you're firing at far ranges, they tend to slow down a lot and curve left and right. So what I've done is I've made this, which is a single dart barrel for elites. Basically, it's just half inch PVC, half inch PVC, and then it's got a little O-ring here. That seals it in perfectly to the stock Kronos' barrel. It's running eight string scar at the front. So when I pop this barrel into the end of my Kronos, I can fire off elite darts. And that's really amazing because these are flying really straight and really far and they're hitting about 180 FPS. And with the rattle rounds only able to hit around 130 inside of my Kronos. But as everyone probably knows, Kronos is really great. It's always nice to have. And basically with the addition of the mags, I'm able to run mags and top load it. So I have everything that's good about Kronos plus mag fed capabilities. And the last thing that I can do is I can even chamber in multiple rounds a la an Atlas and get a nice shotgun burst going off of it. And so that's really cool. That's why I love this Kronos. It's also really nice. I gave it my standard metallic red and black paint job, which I think came out looking really great. Seen a little bit of battle damage up here, but I kind of like that. All right, guys, so now we're going to cut to the footage where I'm just going to shoot a few darts outside just so you guys can see how much range is getting and the power of it. All right, guys, this is just an outdoor range test. I'm going to fire off a few darts downrange just so you guys can see how much power it's got with the single dart barrel and the spring upgrade that it has. So the one bad side effect of this barrel is it takes forever to reload and fire off another dart. But as you can see, the performance is pretty great, and I'm able to fire elite darts fairly far and fairly accurate with the use of a scar. What's up, third? Whoa. That was the uh, non Yeah. The lighter one went a little bit further. So yeah, that's going to be it for my Kronos video, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe, and check us out in the next one. Bye.